Hi guys, I'm Darren Purchase and I'm here at my favourite market, Paran Market, where I'm going to show you something Christmassy that's not Christmas pudding. For those of you who are not into those flavours, this is light, this is fresh and this is really festive, something that you can make at home and is super simple to make. We're going to make my whipped mango cheesecake with passion fruit, coconut and white chocolate. Okay, there's three parts to this recipe really. One is a biscuit base, one is a whipped cheesecake mix, and then there's assembly. So really simple. We're gonna start first with the biscuit base. I've got some chopped chocolate chip cookie crumb. Any chocolate chip cookie will do, or any cookie crumb. In here, I have some foyatine wafers. These are a little bit harder to get hold of, but have a look around your market. I'm sure you'll find them. If not, you could substitute for cornflakes. Really delicious as well along with some flaked coconut. Next, we add in desiccated coconut, followed by some chopped dried cranberries. We've got some melted white chocolate. We're just gonna add some of that to the ingredients. Okay, white chocolate's in. We're just gonna give it a mix now. As you can see, this is really easy to do. And the white chocolate is gonna bind all of those dry ingredients together. We're gonna make an absolutely delicious crunchy element to our dessert. Desserts are really great when there's contrast, so I like crunch and I like smooth. So this is the crunchy base for our cheesecake. Okay, let's mix really well. Next, we're gonna set this on a tray in the fridge just for about sort of 15 minutes. And the white chocolate will harden up, giving us a really crunchy biscuit base. We can break into irregular shapes to put into our dessert. I'm just gonna put this in the fridge now. Okay, you will have seen, I've just added my cream cheese and icing sugar to the mixing bowl, and I'm just smoothing it out with a paddle. You could do that part by hand, but I'm letting the machine do all the work for me. Now, I've got an absolutely delicious mango. This is one of my favorite fruits of all time, in season right now and I'm just gonna cut some of the flesh off and add it straight into my whipped cheesecake mix. So just cutting a cheek off and I'll just loosen the flesh around the skin and I'm just gonna rough chop it and add it to my mix. So I'm gonna get a few chunky fruity bits in my cheesecake. Now I'm just gonna stop the machine and just give my bowl a little bit of a scrape just to make sure that everything is mixed really well. Now, I don't mind a few lumps of fruit in there. In fact, that's a really tasty part of this when you get a pocket of fruit, absolutely delicious. So just moving the mix off the sides of the bowl before turning it on again. Okay, that's great. So we've just got two more ingredients to add to our whipped cheesecake mix. We've got some coconut cream. I'm just gonna add this to the mix now. So there's still a few lumps, but that's fruit lumps. That's perfectly normal. So what we're gonna do now is just take this off and we're gonna fold in our whipped cream. Okay, that's done. All the hard work is done now. And the best part is assembly, and that's what we're gonna do next. Okay, I've got a dessert glass here, and what I'm gonna do with the remaining white chocolate. I've just got a pastry brush, and I'm gonna dip it into the white chocolate and just brush it inside the glass and twist the glass at the same time. So I've got a cool design on the outside of your glass. That's a really easy tip to get your desserts looking really professional. Um, next, we're gonna layer this dessert. So we've got our biscuit base here, which is set in the fridge. As you can see, we've got some crunchy, irregular granola sized shapes and they're really cool to add texture to your dessert. Now passion fruit curd, you can pick some of this up at your local market, a pram market, they've got some awesome passion fruit curd. The recipe is attached to the website if you want to give it a go yourself. I'm just going to get some passion fruit curd and just spoon it just on one side so you can kind of see 
little pockets of color in your dessert. Okay, next, our whipped cheesecake mix. It's got little bits of mango in there. Absolutely delicious, nice and thick. You could pipe it, but I'm just gonna spoon it inside this glass here. So I've got some remaining mango here and we'll just chop the flesh. Love to add pockets of fruit and surprises inside my desserts. A couple of bits of mango in there. And I think a passion fruit as well. Already this is looking really tropical. I know it's gonna be delicious and how easy is it so far? And we'll top off with a bit more of the whipped cheesecake. Awesome. Okay, I'm gonna finish off the next three and then we'll work on the chocolate garnish just to finish. All right, we're almost ready now. It's a really exciting part. A really quick and easy chocolate garnish that you can do at home to make your desserts look extra special. So the remaining white chocolate that I used earlier, and I've also got a piping bag here. You don't have to use a piping bag. You could just use a teaspoon. Now the most important part is this. I've set some water in my freezer overnight, so I've got a nice rock hard block of ice. And we'll just pour the chocolate into the piping bag. We're gonna literally pipe the chocolate on top of the ice. And the coldness of that ice is gonna set the chocolate immediately for a really cool chocolate garnish. Snip the end. Now here we go. Now it literally takes seconds to set just got a small knife here. And I'm just lifting up, look at that, chocolate garnish to go on top of our dessert. Okay, the last one there. There we have it, how easy was that? But also how professional does that look? This is my whipped mango cheesecake with passion fruit coconut and white chocolate and it's sure to impress any Christmas festive dessert. I hope you give it a go. Now let's give it a try.